Hey, this is Trip from TripAdvice.com, and today I'm going to show you a proven strategy for getting over a breakup. Right now, as you're watching this, you're probably in a lot of emotional pain. Trust me, I get it. I have been there many times before. Either you broke up with a girl, or even more painful, she broke up with you. You feel rejected, you feel lonely, you feel like there's nothing in the world that's going to make you feel better in this very moment. I understand that you feel you're in a deep hole right now, but I promise, look at me, I promise you will get out. The first thing you have to realize is that this pain does not last forever. You feel like it will. That's an irrational thought. This pain will go away. The biggest healer is time. And at this time, I'm going to give you a secure strategy that will help you heal this pain. Now, before I go into that, on this screen right now is a link to an ebook called 10 Simple and Unknown Dating Tips to Increase Attraction. I know the last thing you're thinking about right now is trying to meet another girl because you are hung up on this one. But I want you to get this book right now anyways, because I promise once you're feeling up to meeting new girls, which you will, you'll want to read through this quick guide to start attracting girls 30 times better than your ex-girlfriend. Okay, let's get into some tips on how to get over your breakup. First things first, this advice is only going to work for guys who are at the point where they know 100% completely it's over with their ex. This is not a how to get your ex back video. In fact, I have one of those on my channel that you can look up if that's what you're looking for. But this video is for guys who are ready to get over their ex and move forward because you know that it's over. Okay, let's get into it. In this period of time, you're going to be thinking about her a lot. Studies have shown that you might be thinking about her 80% of the time in your first periods of breaking up with her. That's because you're going through what's called withdrawal. Love is a drug in a sense, and your brain isn't getting that dopamine release that it usually does when you're with that girl that you're bonded with. So since you'll be thinking about her a lot, I want you to not spend time alone. Friends and family are your best bet. Make plans to do stuff, anything. Get out of your house. Make it almost a game to not be alone as much as possible. Of course, it's inevitable that you will be alone some of the time, and that's okay, but make it a point to spend time with people as much as you can. Next, I want you to make a list, not on your phone or a tablet or your computer, the good old fashioned way with a paper and a pen. Get that out and create a list of all the reasons why your ex wasn't good for you. I want you to think of 10, that's the minimum. Bonus points if you can think of more, but 10 minimum, and really push it if you're having a hard time thinking of 10. Now, you may respect your ex and think she was great and have all these reasons why she is amazing. But on this list, I want you to think of 10 ways or reasons why it was not a match. And the more specific, the better. I want you to keep this list in your wallet. And whenever you get that terrible pain inside of your chest, I want you to take out this list and read it. And you might end up making this list bigger as time goes on. Good, do that. Okay, my next tip is to start the process of talking to other girls. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can you talk to any other girls? You only want one girl and that's your ex. Well, trust me, when I say a magical thing happens when you start talking to other girls, and I don't mean hitting on them or even trying to get dates, simply just starting conversations. The magical thing that starts to happen is this slight attraction that you will have for another girl. Sure, it's not love, and no, it's not the same feeling that you have for your ex in that moment, but it's a start. A start in a new direction to get you feeling something else other than the pain that you have over your breakup. Next, and again, there is no order to this process, I want you to sign up for therapy. Figure out your insurance or whatever you need to do and seek a therapist. Why? Because you're going to need someone to talk to as you heal. And your friends and family, unfortunately, will get sick of hearing about this. It sounds harsh, but it's true. You need an unbiased person who specializes in relationships, and that's a therapist. If you can afford it, go once a week. Now you might say, Trip, I have no money, I can't afford it. And you know what? Go once a month. 
that's totally fine. And you can definitely manage that. You want this therapist to be a sounding board to your issues and help you work through the emotional pain that you're feeling. Last and certainly not least, I want you to cut off all communication from her. Delete her from your phone, unfollow her on Facebook, unfollow her on Twitter, Instagram, and all your other social media accounts. What we want to do is make your memories of her fade and fade and fade away. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is to not create new ones. And those new ones come in the form of texting her, talking to her, and seeing her social media. This is where the time healing comes in. We want her to be a distant and past memory so you can dissolve the pain that you're in. Now this is an extreme bit of advice I just told you and many of you won't be able to do it. I get it, you wanna see what she's up to and who she's with, but that will do nothing but bring you more pain. If you listen to this tip and this tip only, you will heal 20 times faster, guaranteed. Now, there are a lot of other things that you can do to get over your breakup, but those are the most powerful and most important tips. If you can accomplish this whole list, you will feel better within four weeks. If you have a tip that's helped you, I want you to go ahead and write it down for us in the comments below this video. And don't forget, you are going to meet a new girl relatively soon, so get the 10 simple and unknown dating tips to increase attraction right here on the screen or in the description below. It will give you some great advice to get more women into your life and fast. So go get that right now. Check it out when you're ready. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I put out videos every single week on how to get the girl. I'll see you on the next video.